The question is, a rectangular football pitch measures 120 meters by 55 meters. Create a scale diagram for the football pitch. So it is rectangular, so we know it's going to look like a rectangle with one of the dimensions being longer than the other one. So there's going to be length and width. And looking at the size of the paper, length would be along here and then width on this side. So we've got 120 meters, so we're going to try and fit 120 meters long here, but of course that's not possible, so we're going to have to use a scale. We're going to scale this down, but what to? And we need to decide that. So what I'm going to check is how many centimeters long this is. So we've got 15 and about 5 which makes 20. So I think I'm going to do because I can fit 12 centimeters here. So that would mean dividing this by 10 which in other words means that one centimeter on the diagram will probably be 10 meters in reality on the ground so let's try that out so if i draw the length of the football pitch being uh, actually 12 centimeters So if this is 12, that means one centimetre will be equal to 10 metres on the ground. And on the other side, following the same scale, then we are going to have to divide this by 10 to get 5.5 centimetres. So that's going to be around here. And we'll do the same on the other side as well. And we'll connect these two dots. So let's check that now. We could write the scale as one centimeter to 10 meters. Let's have a look. Does that work? So I've got 12 centimeters here. 12 times 10 because 12 centimeters will be so to get from 1 to 12 and multiply by 12 so 10 times 12 is going to be 120 centimeters so this was centimeters on this side but on the other side, we've got meters. So that cannot stay as centimeters. So whatever unit you have on that side, that's what you're going to keep having at the bottom as well. So on this side, we have meters. So we're going to have meters as well. So... 120 meters and that's exactly what we had here and the next one we've got 5.5 centimeters which is matching centimeters so to get from 1 to 5.5 we've multiplied by 5.5 so if i multiply the 10 by 5.5 it gives me 55 and what is the unit is meters so that matches this one as well suggesting that we've drawn the scale diagram accurately another way we could have written the scale would be this so we have one centimeter one centimeter to 10 meters so if i rewrite this to one centimeter and convert this to centimeters as well so that is going to be one 
1000 because one meter is 100 so 10 will be 1000 so since these are the same units I can just rewrite this as 1 to 1000 and it will be exactly the same as what we had here so either way either of these two scales would be correct